Passion is living, breathing, believing thoroughly in something. Passion is commitment. Art isn't made from just talent. Art is made from hard work. I feel like students demonstrate their passion for what they're learning when they are committed to their classes, their independent investigation of things. Our students are smart, um, capable, talented. I think the majority of our students are hardworking, dedicated, and committed. They have a broad understanding of not just art and design, um, but math, sciences, of uh, history, literature, uh, and a lot of the things that come along with a liberal arts education. We all make art about something. There's content to our work. So I think it's really great that if you're making art about culture, you can go take anthropology courses or sociology courses. I think that's an advantage uh, for our students. Our students are capable of doing greater development of their ideas because they're not only exposed to art, they're exposed to a wide variety of topics. As a faculty member, I think the thing that I can do for my students is help them make connections. In some cases, it's just connections as to what they're doing, um, but in a bigger sense, it's connections of what they're doing and how it resonates outside of itself. You'll find that you will have teachers who've never had you in class get to know you, start to ask questions if you cross paths with them. And there's a lot of care and nurturing that goes on in the department that's very genuine, but at the same time, it's wrapped up in creating a safe space for you as a student to take risks with your ideas. The community is like a family because students are so known here. We recognize people in the hallway. You're allowed to have opinions. You're allowed to challenge conventional thought. There's a community of people who want to work on their art, who enjoy being in the building and in the studios, and uh, I find it all very inspiring as a teacher. Within the entire curriculum in the art and design department, there's some secondary elements that are embedded in your entire education, which is problem solving, time management, presentation, visual speaking, all of these aspects relate to any career that you might have. The idea of what happens to someone after they graduate uh, is that they need to be prepared for anything and everything. Uh, and I think that our students have a, a, a wide basis of knowledge uh, that they can draw from. Uh, and that's going to open up doors.